Uh, hi all. The Paddy Sports Review from the sport events that happened last weekend. Starting with the Premier League, the first match up. Liverpool and Leicester. Like, I thought when Liverpool went one and up against Leicester, I thought oh, they're back to their best, especially the way they scored the goal. With the touch by Firmino was outstanding in the finish by Salah. I thought, oh, Liverpool are back. But at the goal, one and up, they capitulated. You know, the F- Thiago fell for the Madison free kick. That was a poor fell. Uh, they couldn't stop the cross from coming in. And then the second goal was made by a goalkeeper mistake and a third goal was made by another mistake by Salah giving a risky pass in the middle of the park. Like Liverpool are playing without confidence, without form and they're struggling in games this season. And this will be Jurgen Klopp's toughest test as manager for Liverpool because it's easy when you're winning matches and playing well but this will really show who the leaders are in the team, you know, and it'll show how good of a manager Jorgen Klopp is. Um, I'm not sure whether Liverpool finish in the top four this season because of so many points they've dropped. But for Leicester, Brandon Rodgers is doing a brilliant job with Leicester. You know, it helps when you have a brilliant goal scorer on Jamie Vardy. He's clinical, he's rootless, he smells a chance. And also the form of Madison and Barnes this season have been crucial in Leicester's improvement. And I think they could finish in the top two this season. You know, I think they'll finish they could finish ahead of United the way Leicester are playing at the moment. And um, three o'clock match, Crystal Palace Burnley. Uh what a goal by Matt Lowton. It was a brilliant finish. And Sean Deutsch done a brilliant job at Burnley over the last couple of years. The halfway match, Man City continue their unbeaten run. Like they've been so impressive over the last few months and Gundogan does it again. I think he should get player of the season. Because he has been outstanding for City over the last while. His goals, assists, you know, he stepped up to the mark really, really and truly. And at the back, you know, another clean sheet. That's the reason we're at the top of the league. It's all the clean sheets. You know, you're stopping goals. You're stopping teams from scoring. You're not conceding any goals like the way other teams are. And um, But for Spurs, they were outplayed. They were outfought. And some of the mistakes for the goals were poor. Um, I don't think Spurs will finish in the top four this season and it'll be a big drop off considering everybody's talking about for the title before Christmas so it's like the players have uh, not been mentally ready for all the pressure they would have got on when they, when they went top of the league I just think the occasion got the better of them, got the better of them to be honest and the late match Saturday Brighton and Villa. I thought Brighton played really well. They marked really out of the match. And could have won the match very easily only for the saves by Martinez. He's been brilliant for Villa. And he's been a great signer for them. On Sunday the first match up. Southampton and Wolves. It was a game of two halves. Southampton played really well the first half. They got one it up. Uh, they could have been two or three it up. Um, and they probably rude them missed chances. I thought Danny Ings' goal was brilliant. But... Wolves came back into it in the second half and Neves um, was outstanding at the panel and then the assists for the second goal. Um, this win might kickstart Wolves season because I just thought they were happy just to finish my tail. So they might, this might give them um, a bit of a kickstart in trying to finish in the top 10. Like, you know, the higher you finish, the more money you get. So that should be the motivation without anything else. Second match up, you know West Brom, you know they were poor again, the defending, and um, for the first goal was poor and even throughout the match, and going forward, they didn't do enough to win, they didn't create enough chances, and it's like you know they bottled it since they went top of the league, that form over the last few weeks has been poor, I just go to show where you know they're really at, they still have a lot of improvement, if they have a serious aspirations, of winning a title, but for West Brom, an improved performance, but uh, they need to win games. Points are not enough. They're running out of games, and they need wins. Don't need draws. In the half hour match, Arsenal leads. Uh, Arsenal's young players done it again. I thought their enthusiasm and their work rate was outstanding. 
And it was good to see Bang Yan score a few goals because he's been struggling for goals this season. And these goals could give him a massive confidence lift for the second half of the season. And if Arsenal have any aspirations of finishing in the European places this season, the form of a Bang Yan is crucial. But for Leeds, poor mistakes in the first half cost them winning this match. I know they came back into the second half and they, you just expect that from Leeds. That's just the way they play. But they too much to make up for because of the mistakes. But Bamford should have gotten a penalty. Like how that wasn't given as a penalty um, was poor, to be honest. And then the late match last night, Everton, Fulham, a brilliant performance by Fulham. They defended well and they scored two brilliant goals. I've been impressed the way Fulham played over the last while. I think they had the best chance of getting out of a relegation battle this season. Uh, in European football, Lukaku does it again. He's been brilliant for Inter. Still a bit frustrated at United got rid of him. But I think he's going to come back to the Premier League. If he keeps playing at like this, I think um, Man City might actually buy him, to be honest, because that's what City need. Um, in Spain, Tony Cruz, what a career he's had. His longevity year in, year out, to be so consistent. And he has to be one of the best midfielders in the modern era. And Sancho for Dortmund, the goals he scored this season, the assists. Like, why did United not sign him? Because he's so good. He has quality. And he's definitely going to go to one of the big teams in Europe. Either this summer or next summer. In the golf, the PGA Tour. Um... AT&T, Daniel Berger, a brilliant um, final round by him. And the way he played the 18th, a brilliant drive. The second shot was quality and in the eagle. That's the way to win a tournament. Berger has been playing great over the last six, eight months. And I think he's going to be in the world's top five this year because he's so good. Um, your man, McNeady, I know he didn't win it, but that will give him so much confidence coming second in a big event for the season ahead. And also, another top five for Jordan Speed. Two top fives in a row. This will give him so much confidence for the season ahead. And in rugby, the Six of Nations, uh, I know England be a bit convincing in the end, but England, Eddie Jones will still be unhappy with some of the mistakes they're making. Too many errors, and they won't be Wales or France if they keep doing this. And the second matchup, Scotland and Wales. I thought Stuart Hogg in this match was brilliant. He's a brilliant player for Scotland. And Scotland were unlucky to get the players sent off. I don't think it was very hard, to be honest. Uh, but Wales used the extra man as their advantage again. Um, the performances in the first two matches from Wales haven't been great, but they just about done enough to win. I think they need to have an improvement if they want to be the likes of England or France. And Orland and France, Orland were lucky not to play, not to win this match because they played well. They showed a lot of heart, spirit, endeavour. And the set piece worked well for Ireland. You know, just the injuries in the end kind of, you know, ruined their chances of winning. But France were brilliant. You know, the power and pace that they broke with. You know, France have been brilliant in the Six Nations so far. I think they're the team to be this year. So I hope you enjoy the action over the weekend. Thank you.